Things to avoid in Christmas messages it's for cards, sermons, and Instagram captions. In an increasingly politically correct world, you want to avoid offending people. This year, when you pass on the holiday cheer, don't say any of these things! Nitpick historical accuracy. Talk about how terribly inaccurate the nativity scene is. Wrong! 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 Dear Grandma, I'm sending you a Christmas card this year that outlines everything wrong with the picture on the front. The wise men weren't actually kings. The wise men weren't actually even there. Wrong! Here's my sermon illustration this year. We're gonna light the stable on fire. Wrong. 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 Nobody cares. Read the rest of Isaiah chapter seven. You shall call his name Emmanuel. What a beautiful verse. Well, I wanna welcome here today all the, the people who only come to the Christmas Eve service. Today we're gonna to talk about how this boy will grow up and eventually kill everybody. In that day, a land that was once filled with a thousand thorns will become briars and thistles. Your land will become only a place where cows tread. In other words, what I want you to get out of today's Christmas Eve service is that although this is a cute baby in the manger now, he's gonna grow up, return one day, and then slaughter everybody. God will be with us a second time. And in those days, the valley will be filled with blood until it reaches the horse's bridle. Blood, 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 blood. Talk about Herod killing babies. You'll notice we didn't add any pictures this time. We wanted you to update on our family's happenings this year. We have a new grandchild. Thousands of years ago, Herod had a multitude of babies murdered in Bethlehem. Also, sign this petition for the pro-life movement. Go on a long rant about how Christmas is not actually on December 25th. Quick Facebook update, Irenaeus put that date there because he can't do math. Irenaeus was a church father who put the date on December 25th. It just conveniently lined up with the southern solstice. It basically became a national holiday so that we would, could Christianize all the pagan celebrations. So that's all I wanted you guys to know this year. Have, have a Merry Christmas. And Jesus was actually born in September. If we're gonna use this phrase, make sure you get it in the right order. Yeah. Compare Jesus to Santa. For our Christmas play this year, we have two men, one on stage right and one on stage left. Both of them see you when you're sleeping. They know when you're awake. These two men both have a naughty list, a list of everyone who's been bad. Okay, once again, when Jesus returns, he kills everybody on his naughty list. Stop dragging the end times into Christmas. For some reason at Christmas, we're happy to talk about the first coming of Christ, but never the second. When you say first coming of Christ, people think reindeer and Christmas trees. When you say second coming, people think Harold Camping. Blood, blood, blood. So much blood. Boast about your humility. This year, I'm sending these oranges to thousands of starving children. This year, I filled this little box with goods to send to Africa. This year, I've jammed this shoebox with 75 cents worth of goods for children. And this year, I got a new drum kit for Christmas. Talk about the birth of Jesus. No, I mean the actual birth. Allow me to illustrate. See, I haven't even drawn anything yet and you're already uncomfortable with where this might go. Placenta, birth canal. These are words you definitely don't want to ever hear in your Christmas card. Let's just all agree to not remember the birth of Jesus, but just remember the part where they swaddle the baby and lay him in a manger, okay? Worst Christmas Eve sermon ever.